happy Mother's Day, guys. It's me. I was um, sitting around and I wanted to do like a Mother's Day video, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about. And I had an or order that I needed to pick up at Sephora. So I was like, I'll share that with them on Mother's Day and talk about some of my favorite things. I'm cleaning my glasses because they have a spot on the outside. So boom, there we go. Um, so yeah, I was like, I can do a favorites video. I wanted to show you the flowers that I got for Mother's Day. So those are really, really nice. And the sun is kind of going in and out. So the lighting might switch out a little bit, but as always, this is what we're dealing with. So the first thing I wanted to tell you guys is I got a new phone. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I have been loving it. I will show it to you. Um, it is this guy um, and it has the um, 512 um, gigabytes of memory so that was my box and this is my new phone I just my other phone just was just it just wasn't working so I had to upgrade so that's um, super I guess it's super exciting I hadn't had a new phone the last one I had was iPhone I think a 13 or something like that um, and I also got a case this is the case from Apple with the mag safe on the back and what I am loving is my pop socket and this pop socket is is removable and it sticks to the back of the MagSafe case so these this is my phone setup I like this because I can take it on and off you know the other pop sockets if you've ever had a pop socket you know it was like an adhesive that stuck it to the back and once you put it on that particular case it was stuck there but for the newer for lack of a better term pop sockets it can be it can go from case to case as long as it has the mag safe um mag safe properties and if you don't necessarily have a mag safe case it'll stick to the actual phone as well so um just a little bit of funness and i got the case from apple and the mag safe from Target, but you can get the MagSafe um, pop socket from Amazon as well. So you don't have to go rushing and looking for it. But I did want to share with you guys that I got a new phone. So that's exciting. So I'm just going to share some of the things that I have been loving, like my favorites. And when I say favorite, it's something that I use either every day. If I lost it, I would buy it again. So let's go there. Um, oh, another oldie but goodie or a faithful is my newest Stanley cup and this one is with the flip straw top and it is in this pretty purple color and I like this one the best because it's it fits in my cup holder and it has the handle I love the handle part of this I wasn't sure because you know I got the little one in green with the handle and I just um the top handle is my favorite. So this is the one I've been using the absolute most. It's the one with the handle. So this is certainly a favorite. Um, buying over and over again. The candles from Amber in the scent Mirage. I've had quite a few of these um, candles and like a lot. And I just wanted to share this is the latest one that I got and it is like I said the scent is Mirage it comes in a box like this when you open it up you'll have like tissue paper on the inside to keep it together and this is what you find in the in the box which is the uh, uh, I don't know how much this is like as far as the weight but it lasts a really long time so yeah and if you don't know um, Christina Brawley um, she was pretty shiny sparkly a hundred years ago, and then she changed everything to Christina Brawley And she was a, a YouTuber that I watched who did a lot of luxury and then she branched out and started her own Candle business and I have been purchasing candles from her 
um, since she first launched. Then she launched a laundry powder. <laughs> and this stuff smells so good. It is between the sheets, which was a candle that I do have that smells really, really nice. And when she launched the sulfate free, um, safe, um, clean, um, laundry detergent i wanted to try it so as you can see i've used it there's no more left so i saved this for the video so i could then show you that i bought a new one that's how much i liked it i repurchased it the tide pods that i have <laughs> are still in our cabinet and you have to get the scooper so you need the scoop and you use one to two scoops depending on if it's a small or medium load one scoop or a large, extra large, depending on how much you can put in your, you know, laundry um, washing machine. But this scent is between the sheets. She does have other scents. I don't know what those smell like. I just knew that I liked the idea and the smell of um, between the sheets. And so that's what I got. So I would highly, um, I highly recommend this. I love it. I just love the scent. The scent lingers in your clothes for a very, very, very long time. So. I love that even on your sheets like when you lay down you can still smell it in your pillowcases which is the best thing ever um since it's starting to get warm i went out and purchased new birkenstocks now um if you follow me on instagram you would have seen these a couple times i've worn them out probably twice both times that i wore them i think i took a photograph so these are the black stiff leather like this leather is hard and has a little shine to it what I love is the big buckle. I think the big buckle just elevates the Birkenstock to a new level. And so I got these in the black. And then the other day I picked these up and this is the Arizona big buckle in soft pink. And they're right here. All of my Birkenstocks are size 38 and you can see that big buckle. I absolutely love these. And the soft pink is just, it's just really, really nice. This is a super neutral wear everyday type of sandal. Um, if you know Birkenstocks, then you know you love them. I think it is one of those things that like you love Birkenstocks or you hate them. And I happen to be a lover of the Birkenstocks. So there you go. There's from the side. It does have the Birkenstock symbol there. And the bottom has the ribbing and the cork bottom so yeah Birkenstocks are um they're always a good idea so that leads me to so I got my phone told you I got a new phone a couple other things I wanted to talk about I did go to Sephora we're gonna share that another thing I've been loving are my eyeglass cases you guys know I started wearing glasses at the end of last year and the cases just wasn't filling them the hard blue one that comes with the Warby Parker wasn't my favorite and also the little bag that it came in so I wanted something that I could put in my purse and just really really um feel like my glasses were protected but still had a bit of flexibility to them so I saw this brand Bagu on um Urban Outfitters and I went to their website and I ordered this um, gingham gray gray green um, gingham print and this purple with like um, citrus fruit like an orange maybe on them and my um, all of my glasses and sunglasses fit perfectly inside it does have a magnetic closure so that is really nice and I ordered two pair because I mean two actual eyeglass cases only because um if you have like a sunglass or whatever so i don't know i just thought and these were the two um prints that spoke to me the loudest that i enjoy so i ordered these so these have been um with me for a couple months now and i absolutely love them if you wear glasses and you don't want to care because a lot of the cases y'all know they could just be big and bulky and the little i call it like a sleeve can be not enough protection in my opinion so yes so try these out they're amazing next from touchland i had never used their um 
their hand sanitizer before. So I got this during the anniversary sale. Not the anniversary, but the Nordstrom's um, sale that they have every year. And this is Wild Watermelon Mist. And then I ordered this off of Amazon to hook it to um, like your keys or whatever. And I ordered one for Sydney. So we both have a touch lane. Hers is on her backpack. And I put mine in my purse. Um, but I wanted the um, case so that um, I could, you know, have it and if I wanted to hook it to something I could but this is really 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 nice I've really been enjoying the Touchland spray and it smells really good and it doesn't necessarily dry your hands out so that's really nice um from the anniversary from the Sephora sale a couple about a month ago I got um a new eye cream from the ink list and I have really been enjoying this um I haven't finished it but I've been using it day and night and I feel like my left eye is not as puffy as it usually is. My right eye didn't puff, but I think because I sleep on my left side, it has been a little bit more swollen in the morning and this has really helped. So it's the consistency, just like anything else. If you use it enough and it's a good product, it will work. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I generally try and get a lower cost item to see if it works. And then if I see that it's working, I stick with it. If I see that it's not, then I will move on and try to get something, um, you know, change or more expensive or whatever. But this one has seemed to have been working and I am enjoying it. My scent of the spring has been Not Your Baby by Fleur. And I got the smaller travel size because I thought if I use this up, then I really, really love it. Because I love the scent. But you know, you'll buy a scent, you'll spray it on. And you may not spray it anymore. I have been loving this. And my thought is, if I spend the $30 that this costs, and I use it in its entirety, then I'll buy the big bottle. So, that is what I've been doing. But I also use this Vaseline All Over Body Balm. And I'll put it here, and then I'll put it on my wrist. And then I'll spray this on. And it works it lasts all day like I've taken a shower and still smelled this when I use it with this when I use these two together the scent will linger and linger and linger on your skin for all day like it is it this I think with the Fleur you need to use the Vaseline because before I would spray it and then I wouldn't smell it and of course everybody has talked about how you Vaseline helps your um fragrance last and so I was like okay let me go ahead and use the roll on because I don't have Vaseline that you dig your finger in and that's what you always see and I was like let me use the roll on then I can take this with me um not that I generally well I do actually take this with me but anyway this makes it last longer so go ahead and try if you want to try the flur you heard it didn't last on your skin very long it's just one of those you have to take that extra step with so don't be don't be alarmed. Next is that time of the year. So I am a so so de Janeiro loving person. So I did get their sunscreen and I spray it on my way out the door. Um, I just hit my legs, arms, and it smells nice. And this one is 50, um, SPF 50. So that that's why I got it in the spray bottle. And like I said, I am a so de janeiro lover so i went ahead and got the big one and i have been really really enjoying the scent and the way that it doesn't leave me looking greasy or white or none of that those things i don't use it on my face i use summer friday um on my face but yes this is that has been and i think the smell too has been really 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 enjoyable this was so unexpected i am not a spray mist type of person but this let me stretch my leg out um Codaly grape water is amazing in the mornings I wash my face with warm water to get you know all of the nighttime um residue and things off my face and I spray this before I do my moisturizer and this stuff is so nice it feels like it makes my moisturizer rub in smoother and just hydrates 
it is a moist it is a like a moisturizing spray you can spray it um from what i can tell you can spray it whatever you want to but it just it just you just let it dry it off the wipe it i don't know it is just amazing and i have been loving it i got the travel size because i'm always going to buy the smaller one until i know for a fact that i'm going to love it i've gotten caught with things that were massive that i did not use and did not like and i just am not going to do that anymore so now that i know that i really really enjoy this i will buy the big one i still have quite a bit in here so i'm just going to use this until there's nothing left and then um buy it when i'm ready when this is empty so from the sephora sale um that i have used religiously is this especially when i was going through my recovery those first couple days i wasn't like doing the skincare sometimes was just too much so i wanted an overnight hydration mask that you put on at night and you just leave it on and this one from sephora has been amazing i washed my face i put this on it and i lay down that's it and i do it like twice a week and I can see myself repurchasing this over and over and over again. This is really, really nice. This is um, by the Sephora brand. I just picked the cheapest one or one that I felt like was affordable um, for my needs. So speaking of empty or buying something once you realize you love it, this lip gloss from Pharmacy is the Lip Smooth Honey Van Vanilla Vitamin C Pep Peptide Lip Balm and it caught me by surprise i saw the honey vanilla and i was like i want something with honey in it so as you can see i've been using it and i got it um a couple days after i had surgery so i got this about the 11th or 12th of april and i have used it every single day but one thing that i didn't like about it was that you had to use your finger so i went on amazon and found lip gloss applicators and it came in a package of four and as you can see I have <laughs> cracked it putting it on so I think I'm putting it on too hard but I can put the top on it and I use this so if I'm out and about and I want to put this on but my finger might not be clean or um you know you just out you don't want I just have a it grosses me out to stick my finger in lip glosses and they always give you, I brought this, this, when you buy the, what's the lip gloss that I have two or three of, um, the Laneige in the pot, they give you this little one, but this is so little and then it doesn't have like, it just has this little plastic thing and I spray this down with alcohol and wipe it out and it just, but it's just so small, but this these were like four bucks for like four from from amazon i just typed in um lip gloss applicators and it was a bunch of them that came up but it was a pack that had the like i said the top and this i it just feels so luxurious so these two have been my favorites because i love them so much i bought the kiwi pear and i bought the apple today that is what i got from sephora today along with the um pharmacy honey butter lip balm now because i loved the lip this lip balm in here in the pot i figured i would try it in the stick so that is what i bought from there and then i bought the um glycolic acid exfoliant for my hair my scalp um i did not get my hair done i am going to get it done because it was mother's day weekend this weekend i don't think my hairdresser had a lot of appointments so she couldn't fit me in so i'll go next weekend which would be three weeks but i have to wash my hair so yeah <laughs> that's why i didn't get my hair done this week but let's open these up and see how we like the smell first of all here we go so this one is the apple. Okay, it smells like apple. And 
this one is the pear kiwi. Oh yeah, oh yeah, same formula. They are the same formula, it's just a different smell. So now I have three of them. I don't need to buy any more lip glosses, but I feel like because I'm not sticking my finger in it, that it's just better for some odd reason. It just feels really good. I did have one more thing that I did want to show you guys. Um, I'll insert a clip of it here. Okay, yeah, this is just really like a lip balm. I'm not going to put this one on because I just put this one on, but I have a mask that I've been loving that I wanted to show you guys, so I will break that out. They gave me the um, K18 leave-in hair mask. So, yeah, but I am going to throw this stuff in the trash but that is my favorite um that i wanted to share with you guys and tell you i got me a new cell phone because my other one was just kaput and get y'all some of these if you have um lip glosses you have to stick your finger in and those are some of your favorite ones go ahead and get you some of those because it just works so much better so that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a happy Mother's Day. Give you some flowers. You know, they say give people their flowers while they're here. So, yes, that is what is going on here. That is what I got today from my beautiful family. And once again, that's it. I am going to let you guys go. I know the light was going in and out. So, hopefully, this video is okay. Um,. And what else did I want to tell y'all? Happy Mother's Day and be kind just because you can. I am Jessica. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a subscribe, a like, and leave me a flower. You don't have to say anything in the comments. Just click it. Uh, happy, And that'll just be our little happy Mother's Day to each other. So, once again, have a great rest of your day. And we will see you in our next video.